Oven. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, dear panelists, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Really, it's a great pleasure to give you the 10-minute summary of how the management strategy of AFIB and PCI. This is my disclosures. We know very well the major problem of using triple therapy is the increasing amount of bleedings. An increasing amount of bleedings turns into increase in mortality. The prevalence of AFib uh, in, uh, in uh, patient undergoing PCI will continue to grow because of the improved detection of atrial fibrillation and increased number of, a uh, of aging patients. Now, so far, we have five trials. 2013, we had a WOOST study. We're using a vitamin K antagonist. In 2016, we had the first time to use DUOX uh, in the Pioneer uh, trial. And in 2017, we have the redual using Debigatron and Augustus trial in 2019. And last but not least, the interest trial using Edoxuban. Just to pay your attention that the, all, the, all of them are parallel assignment using triple therapy versus two therapy. And only exception is the Augustus trial, which is two by two factorial design using two versus two uh, therapy. So let us give you the results of the meta-analysis of these uh, four trials. We know very well double therapy have a re much reduction in terms of major bleeding as well as much reduction in intracranial hemorrhage, but without an increase or difference in the stroke or, or causes mortality. One notice that has been observed from these meta-analyses that the myocardial infarction and stent thrombosis are trend to increase with the double therapy and therefore better covered with the triple therapy. And particularly the stent thrombosis. And one suggestion that we have learned from the Augustus trial and interest trial that if we cover with a triple therapy of one to two weeks, it might come over the increased risk of stent thrombosis with a double therapy. So giving this meta-analysis, the five questions, how to do and how to wrap this in terms of which oral anticoagulant to use, as well as the dose of NOAX duration, and which P2Y2 inhibitor is the choice, and then what to do with the aspirin. Then the first step for a practical approach is to assess ischemic risk and bleeding risk by using for the anticoagulation the CHADVAS score and the HAS blood score for the anticoagulation. And using for, your, for dual antiplatelet, using the precise DAB score and putting these together in addition to anatomical feature of a stent driven recurrent ischemic events. And this also that has been explained by the previous speaker about complexity of the PCI. And then you divide them after doing all of them to uh, acute current syndrome versus a stable. And if it is simple PCI versus complex PCI. The second step is use strategies to avoid bleeding complication. And by keeping the triple therapy as short as possible and consider using NOAX in a state of vitamin K as the preference or over the vitamin K in terms of the safety and efficacy profile. Now, clobidogrel is the P2Y12 inhibitor of choice and using low dose aspirin and also routine use of PPI inhibitor. Radial artery is the default vascular access, and regarding the glycoprotein 2B3 inhibitors, only used for bailout or periprocedural complications. Now, the 2020 recommendation that you can perform PCI without the interruption of the vitamin K or NOAX based on the patient characteristics in terms of the Has uh, uh, Chad Vask or Has Blood score. Now, step number three is use algorithm for duration 
for combination therapy. This is the recent one we learned from the old algorithm was very complex. This is the latest in 2020. As you can see, three arms. If the default strategy is to use the triple therapy for one week, and then you go double therapy from thereafter to one year. If your high, uh, if high bleeding risk is prevailing, then you use double therapy uh, from uh, one week of triple uh, therapy, then double therapy uh, from uh, thereafter up to six months. And if the high ischemic risk, then suggested to use a triple therapy up to one month and after thereafter double therapy up to one year. After one year is the uh, Duox alone. Now, if you use rivaroxaban, you should use 15 instead of 20. And in the double therapy of Debigatron, the 150 is preferred over 120, especially if you have high ischemic risk with low bleeding risk. There was a question about after one year using uh, the uh, only Noox, and then the question came, when should we use a longer than one year single antiplatelet therapy with, uh, with, the, on, uh, with, the, with the Duox? And the Canadian answered this question, then after one year, if your ischemic risk is more than bleeding risk and having a feature of the complexity of the procedure in terms of left main, multiple stents, or bifurcation stenting, or history of stent thrombosis or recurrent MI, in this situation you may extend in more than one year single antiplatelet with the DOEX. Uh, sorry, when the bleeding occur, what you will do during your therapy, you use three-point approach regarding dual antiplatelet, anticoagulant and general recommendation. In general, if you use triple therapy, go down uh, to dual therapy. If you use longer duration of triple, shorter. And if you have moderate or severe or life-threatening bleeding, then consider of using of the reversal agent. Last, uh, Mr. Chairman, what should we use in the Tigagrelol with the Noax? We know that the tigagrelol was used in a low percentage, overall less than 10, with exception of redual 12%. So the majority, more than 90%, they were using clobidogrel, and therefore the safety and efficacy with the clobidogrel is well established. But in situation where we can use tigagrelol, EHRA in 2018 give an a hint to use it in the practical guidance and said that if you cannot use a clobidogrel for uh, any reason, then you can use tigagrelol with aspirin and Nuox for one week and thereafter you use the dual therapy of tigagrelol and Nuox the, after that for the rest period up to one year taking into consideration on the red, the factor to lengthen combination therapy and also taking uh, shorter if you have uh, factors to shorten your dual, um, uh, your, your, your double therapy of Tigagrelol and Noox. And by this, I end up my talk and thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.